Well, you know, we don't need to pay you the water revenue. You know, we don't have to do this and that. Well, you know, that's not the case. You're, you're going to have to abide by local codes and ordinances. I, you know, May I ask you one question? Yes. Does our agreement on the surface sound hollow? It, it would in respect as far as the city <coughs> itself would be concerned. <coughs> I can see how that we would receive that amount of revenue. Now, again, getting back to the other people, whether they would be, you know, uh, I doubt seriously. That I think you've got a legal problem. Yeah, I think got an automatic legal problem. I don't think you can. I don't think you can get around it. I don't. I don't think that first place. You, you know my feeling. I don't think the Chickasaws can create a nation within this state. I don't think the courts are going to allow that. I've indicated that to Mr. York. Sure. Be that as it may, I don't think this city can negotiate uh, with the Chickasaws in regard to sales tax that the people of this town voted. Uh, that's just like. Uh, going to Mr. Spindle down there and saying, we're going to negotiate with you and you'll pay it in lieu of tax based on uh, 1983 revenues. I'm sure he would be tickled to death to do that. Uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't think there's uh, the legality of any kind of negotiation with the sales tax is totally inappropriate because of the nature of the sales tax in the state, and that's my opinion. Is there any reason discussing any of this bingo or City sales tax until the state finds out that they have not authority over the chicken so I think it. I think in regard to the bingo, I think it's you know I think that uh, uh, the mayor has already indicated to you that that uh, bingo is illegal, and by state statute we can certainly enforce the law, uh, and, and probably should at this point. Uh, there is no. They have apparently they have placed this. Chickasaw Motel and Trust, or whatever that means. Uh, I personally, and I've indicated to Ms. York, I personally don't feel it has any significance at all. They do. Um, but I think that, that under the circumstances, uh, uh, they're not willing to, uh, they're not in a position right now. They feel like that they're going to go ahead and, and, and treat it as trust property and therefore operate outside the statutes. I think that you know, from the legal standpoint, this city and you people have no other, no other alternative except to enforce the law at this point. That's what I'd recommend. And, uh, and that means doing whatever has to be done to enforce the law. You're talking about bingo. And bingo. Limited, limited to two, two bingo, guys. no, I'm talking about shutting the bingo off. Uh, you know, under the circumstances, there was a case file. They, 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 they have a license. license. They have a proper license. license. Oh, we asked for it. Shut the bingo off. Uh, <laughs> shut the bingo off. Uh, if, if, there's, if there's drinking up there, if there's, uh, if there's moves up there, my recommendation at this point would be to enforce the law. Uh, you know, my recommendation to this council was that we wait on the bingo two nights a week for the, for the uh, case that was filed in Tulsa, but that, uh, apparently now they're in trust and they're going to operate like they want to operate, or that appears to be the, the indication. And with that in mind, I see no other alternative except to enforce all of the laws, including no bingo. They do not have a license, uh, uh, which means that the city uh, police will have to to uh, uh, file charges in conjunction with the district attorney's office, and uh, or whatever else has to be done. If uh, uh, the sales tax, the sales tax not being paid, I'm not too sure you all can do anything except that what probably the city. Obligation is to notify the sales uh, tax uh, mm -hmm. the tax commission, state of Oklahoma, and inform them uh, that the Chickasaw in, uh, tribe uh, is or the Chickasaw Motor Inn is not paying their proper taxes, and apparently are refusing to pay. I don't even know this, but assuming they are, then then that's the action that should be taken because you all have an obligation to see that your sales tax is paid. That's just like I assume if if you knew uh, that uh, Mr. Spindle was not paying sales tax properly that you might uh, want to inform the, and he's the only one here, and I'm not picking on him, but you might want to inform the Oklahoma Tax Commission that he's not paying the, the proper sales tax. The problem now is that, uh, you know, we're not talking about staying within the, the, the bounds where we can live, I feel, uh, with this case in Tulsa. He says the case will be resolved in, in December. I really doubt that. I, I know the posture of the case, and I imagine you're talking about two years off at the best before there's any resolution of that case or that lawsuit. So at this point, with with the property apparently being in trust at this time, and with the Chickasaw tribe wanting to operate apparently any way they want to operate, then they've got two, you've got two choices. You either 
de-annex them and tell them to operate the way they want to, cut off their water, cut off their sewer, cut off their police protection, cut off their fire protection, and tell them that their nation in and of themselves, or they've got to operate within your uh, within your ordinances and within your laws in the city. So, well, I'll point out one thing. There's two sides to that coin. <clears throat> You're absolutely right, uh, Phil. But on the other hand, if you do this, and we get an injunction and we win, and we will, then we can open up seven days a week. We won't do two, two sessions a week, and we can just we can just run you ragged. And we don't want to do that. Fine. We don't have any plans of doing that. But we are merely playing three times a week. And we and we promised you we wouldn't do that until we went in trust, and we live with that. But now once if you ever if you ever cross swords, then I won't recommend it. But the Chickasaw Nation itself could do then about anything they want to. I think they win. I think that just has to be up to you. I think the only thing I can recommend to the city council is that they have to legally, sure. they have to at this point attempt to enforce their laws and whatever those laws are. And if you're in violation of, and I have no idea whether you're, I don't pay attention to bingo. I don't know whether you're playing two times or three times. I don't play bingo. Uh, you know, from my own personal standpoint, I'd love it if you had liquor by the drink down there. I could go down and get a drink. But, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's not right if you can do it unless the courts say that it's right. And I think that's all I tell this council. I think that that's my recommendation to the council. Why? And just a hypothetical, you know, why uh, we're waiting until we uh, hear from the courts. And uh, as I understand it, that the nation has not purchased the little license. It's, it's a they can't minimal get the license. We can't get a license. You can't, they cannot, they, they're not a non -profit. The state of Oklahoma does not recognize uh, the, the Chickasaw Nation. It's not a matter of not recognizing the Chickasaw Nation now. Be, be, be absolutely correct in that statement. You are not a non-profit organization. You may not be making a profit, but you can't convince the state of Oklahoma that you're non-profit. We, we would like to make a profit. That's correct. Okay. You're not, said, I've said that over and over. Right. We would like to make a problem. You're not the American Legion, or you're not but, the Catholic Church. We're not. Uh, we're not. Uh, we're not a church, and we're not the Legion. Uh, they cannot get a license. But we cannot get a license because we, because we are a proper. We would like to be, and we're set up as a profitable awesome. operation. Awesome. But we spend our money back into the health, education, welfare of our people. That's 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 all. And that's you know, if uh, if if these uh, 800 babies this year that'll be born in that hospital that we're going to take care of. If they weren't born there, they'd be hard for a hard press to get good. Well, you know, really, and of course I deal with those people every day, and, and uh, most of them that I know have uh, a dual welfare program, which you know, I won't get into it. That may be. But you know, that, you know that's true. Uh, they can get it from that's the state as well as they get it from the nation. You know. I'm proud that's that you true. have that hospital. I'm proud of that hospital, but uh, yeah, we, we we're, not, do we're, we're not going to try to regulate everything. Uh, we're just going to do the best we can do with what we have. And, we're, and the things that we're going to do to attract people into soil for Oklahoma is going to help soil. It's going to bring dollars into soil, whether you want them or not. <coughs> well, we, we appreciate that, that thought, but, you know, again, we, we, we're, we're not a separate entity. We can't be. And as the council told us, you know, we're, we're bound by certain laws ourselves to uphold the law. That's part of the, the oath of office that we take. And so uh, we, we don't have any choice. We're like you. We, we represent body too, and that's what we're, we're doing. And uh, hopefully there won't be a confrontation of any kind. So I hope not. But if there is, well, we. We hope that it all works out for the best and the betterment of our community because that's what we're interested in. And there's not any way we're going to have a community if we don't have tax dollars to operate on. It's just that simple. And your position now is you're not, Chickasaws are not going to pay city sales tax, that you're going to pay, make a payment in lieu. We will, we, will, we will sign an agreement with the uh, city in lieu of taxes. We are not a taxable entity at this point. We're in trust for the United States of America. We don't. We are not taxed by the municipality. Therefore, we're not taxable. However, we will make a. We, we want the services. We want the services, and we'll pay in living. Well, we have. I know you got that far along. That far along. 
Right. Will that be a percentage of your gross? Will it be made monthly? A year? Let's say you win all your court cases. You're going to make this payment in lieu of taxes. If we win all of our court cases? Yes. We will, we will still, in my opinion, we will still make a payment in lieu. Mm -hmm. Because so I told you before, we want to we live, we want to let live. We right. don't You're want those big yellow buses to stop in front of our kids' house. Right. Well, I said it may be too early, but are you going to say a percentage of your growth? That's what I'm asking. Is there going to be a set figure? Or are you just going to say, well, we had a bad, this was a bad month, you know? No, we will make, we will make an annual payout. Annual. Well, the with, figure that I have. With what uh, answer? Pretty much the same as well last year. Her said, well, this year. and mine, well, go Harry, uh, Nick has notified the Home Tax Commission of the situation with them. And uh, of course they know, you know, that sure. in the week of this is not they know. Nothing. There are no secrets in the world. Right. And they know that and of course they are aware of, of the situation and, and whatever. So with that in mind then I would uh, just suggest that we make a recommendation to our city attorney and to the, the chief of police to enforce and uphold all the laws of this city. And whatever that means as far as chick cell nation or otherwise. So that's going to be more under executive session. Well, we can whatever you think. You need to whatever whatever the council wants to do. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, we, we don't want to consider it a rape, we're going to consider it upholding the law. Okay. And uh, of course, you know, those people that are playing, you see again, Mr. York, those people will be uh, non non Indians, uh, the biggest majority of them, and they will be susceptible to our city laws, and uh, they will adhere to whatever codes and ordinances that we have. And uh, so, with that in mind, I would still just suggest we can wait, Harris, if you prefer, and talk about it some more in the executive session and come out with a policy then. And, uh, yeah, let's do that. We can. We can do do that. If there's anything different, we'll be glad to talk to you again. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's move on then to Please. on her and give her a little recognition. Received into money bill. That's right. Yeah. And so. Right. Uh, Mrs. Horseman, we're we're talking about our library here, and of course you've been on the board a long, long time. Our library board has been and. Uh, uh, what amounts to is this, of course, I, I suppose this is known as the Sulphur Library, right? So, okay, well, what we'd like to do, or my, my thoughts on it now, I don't know whether the rest of them would or not, but uh, uh, Miss Parker, you know, was yes, the one that gave it. Okay, she gave us the money to build it with. She mm -hmm. also, there's a, a approximately continuing fund. A continuing fund. So with that in mind, I'd like to give her the recognition that she deserves and designate the name of our library, the Mary Parker Library. Memorial <coughs> Library. Oh, yes. that's and that's all right. We have that's all our stuff if you keep the memorial. Okay, library. okay, that's what yeah. I'm talking oh, about. So oh, I great. Want, okay. I'm so, sorry I had to run, but I had cookies in the car and <laughs> all the and, and then okay. we didn't have chairs. <laughs> well, we're just proud to, to honor her name and honor her gift to our city. And, and I, you know, and I thought it would be fitting that we do. Well, for the system, I'll say thank you. Okay, well, appreciate it. Okay, so we need to make a motion then. And I would make a motion that we designate our library as the Mary Parker Memorial Library. Thank you. Hands forward, okay? Second. Yes, Mary Parker. The Memorial Library. Mary Parker. What is we were, were, were being redundant when we were in here because it's already a soft memorial library. Two Mary Parker. Mary Parker. I don't, that doesn't seem right, but I don't have any idea. I think it's just a soft memorial library. Is that what you've ever seen? Mary Parker. I'm sure that would look too bad. Where? It was just a 
I presented in 402, Mrs. Oh, Parker, yes. I believe that's correct. Yeah. There. But as far as the official name or designation, it's not. It wasn't. It was just a flag honoring Mrs. Parker. And uh, it won't hurt to be good to see her. Okay, motion seconded. Jim Mary Parker, everyone honor. Okay. Uh, ward 1, Ward 2, uh, Ward 3. Sign and I believe that we uh, that it I could be wrong, but I believe this is already. Oh, I believe this is already the uh, song uh, memorial. Memorial. Uh, uh, library to Mary E. Park. Okay, now Any further discussion? Okay, no other stop signs. Okay. Oh, we got that took care of. Okay, the next item then we have for discussion. Now, got me down here to make fun. No, we didn't. We let it. The discussion of our property trade with the Park Service. Now, I'm not sure this is a trade. I think we inadvertently left out some property or something of that nature when the people voted to let the Park Service have the Veterans Lake out there in that area. There was some property that was not included in this transaction. So I let our counselor fill us in on the details there. But uh, we also have an area over adjacent to our library over here and along the creek bank area that Mr. Linehan has uh, told me that the Park Service is going to transfer to our city and give us uh, so that there won't be any problem with that area over there and we can't clean it up. The area in the park, and I, I really can't tell you because if you recall, uh, I was not uh, say attorney at that particular time, but there is an area, and it's, a, it's a like uh, five acres or whatever it is, it was inadvertently, I mean, there's no doubt about it if you look at the map, it just did not get on there. The reason it did not get on there is, in my opinion, it was blocks and blocks within the city of Sulphur. It's right at the edge of town, and, there's, and uh, it, it's the old south town, and there's uh, about four blocks there, five blocks that were left out and they should be included in just to square it up. Otherwise, we own five blocks uh, within the park, actually, and uh, which makes no sense at all. Uh, Mr. Lanahan has also indicated, as the uh, mayor suggests, that uh, he they want to go ahead and give this property to the soft. That would be from the, I would call it, where the building is located, the, the, the bridge, bridge north. north. Now, he would like to, if the city would would uh, would consent, and this is just the, his thought, it doesn't have any bearing. He would like to, in order to make it uh, consistent for the, the city to be this property right down here, and I'm pointing, on this, it's on the south side of the bridge. The city owns a little track, and why we own it, I don't know. Well, they'll probably uh, You know the property I'm talking about, Mr. Mayor? Yes. It's right there, I guess it would be it's immediately right. east of the creek, he would like to see that, but he said that doesn't have, that's not, this is not contingent on that. He just would like, they're taking care of it. It's kind of a part of the park, and then they, they treat it as if it was a part of the park, and it would kind of square things up over there. It used there. to be the croquet grounds. Yeah. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> then there's an area back here that lies between the old railroad track and the creek that the park would convey to the, the city. Some of on the west side of the creek, isn't it? Is that talking about? East side. East side. East side. All of it's on the east side. My understanding is, Harry, it's, it's all on the east side of the creek, but now you have All most of the tennis court, I believe in. Yes. All on the east side. It's kind of a triangle. Yeah. I thought one time there was some of that discussed. I believe it was on the next to the school over there, but maybe not. This may not be the Well, well now, if park, te technically, the, the park owns the creek. Yeah. So it, it would include the West Bank. That's what I started saying. Yeah, they own the creek. The West Bank. Yeah. I thought there was 
Now, it may include some more than just the West Bank, but I don't know that. But it would include the creek itself, the West Bank, and, and that east, and then on to the federal track. They would start the artillery going <laughs> Okay, so we would East need then a motion from us to, uh, we need, yeah, just to, to whatever the city wants to do on this down here, but at least on, on getting that straightened up in the park, which should have been conveyed anyway, just a motion and then to accept the, the, the okay. and then if you want to on this. So let's do that and then we can put the other on there when the other two are here. How's that? Okay, sure. It's fine. Bill, mm -hmm. are they still going to replace that sewer line up through there? <laughs> They're going to be what? They were going to replace that sewer line, the bridge, all the way through to the school. I think that's still in their plans, is it not? Okay. That it runs down into their property. I mean, that they consider that as a problem down there. That didn't that didn't change. Okay. Okay, let's let's note that in the agreement. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then I would move that we that trade or consummate our trade. Consummate our deal that was made some time ago by exchanging that property down there and accepting the property on the north side. Second. And holding this. And the holding, and then when the other two councilmen are here, well, then let them okay. also. And at that time, while well, we'll consider transfer of it to the park service. Transfer of what? That area across the road. So we don't have to okay, that. Okay, what do you That we accept the trade, or we consummate the the, the, the the original agreement, original agreement with okay. the Chickasaw National Recreation Area, and that we accept this land on the north side of the highway. Good. Second. Okay. Well, we'll second. <laughs> word one, word two, Aye. word three, word four, Aye. word five. Aye. Okay, the next item there is the discussion of an overhead door for a maintenance shop. Mr. Mann out there. Uh, Mr. Watson? We, we are in bad need of one. That one's been in uh, bad ever since we moved out there. And uh, I imagine just a rough guess we'll probably put it back on the tracks if we want to leave. And we have a bit there. Uh, Mickey has it. Yeah, they have copies. Okay. Okay, what we would probably have to do though, it's a bit proposal from some overhead door company that we had considered previously. And they gave us another copy of the bill that we'd have to declare that emergency. Yeah, our obtain bids. Obtain bids, what do you want to obtain bids on it? Do we ever get one other than eight? Let's just, let's just, uh, let's just bid that out and then and what y'all say. Yeah. I think it'd be hard to declare that. Yeah. I move that we take bids on the overhead door for the maintenance shop. Yeah. Are these your specs right here? Yeah, I looked at it back there. Now we can, whoever gets it, uh, we can have that door in less than $90. They got a $90 car out of that. If I could, I'd recommend that you, unless you want to bid it with 24, yeah, I guess it's 24 gauge or 26 gauge steel, you might make up your mind which one you prefer and just go ahead and bid it with whichever one, unless you want to get bids on both. The cheaper one, just as good in it, Ralph. The cheaper one, too. I'd say 24 gauge, that's your heavier than that. Yeah. I'd say good idea. Get the heavier in there. I'd just bid it one way. Okay, well. Take, as far as I'm concerned, take the choice, whichever way you want to bid. 24, 26. I'm saying Yeah, on the door. Sheriff, are you ready to check out? Okay, what was your motion then that we submit proposals for the overhead door on the 24 gauge? Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept the overhead door on the 24 gauge steel. Okay, we have a motion in a second. How much difference was in the price between the 20? Seventy dollars. Seventy-six. Stop. Should I study the range of fingers? Okay. So let's do twenty-eight gauge. Put the mic on. We can take the door down, Ralph. Right. Okay. 
Uh, okay, the next item there is the draft of our city codes have been completed and uh, we need to review those. So. I've been over them uh, prior to the time they, they were completed. They have completed them now. Uh, seen, I don't think I haven't seen a copy yet, but they're sending them down here. And uh, uh, I would say there's no reason to, to do anything at this particular time. As soon as I get the copy, I'll review it and then we'll have a session. Where we'll okay. set up a Why don't we do this? When you review them, then you tell us and we'll set a date and we will. We'll I'll call, get copies we'll call a meeting one. for that purpose. And I'll get copies each one of the and y'all will be reviewing. Okay. Uh, hopefully, this will be the last go down of this. <laughs> well, <coughs> have we been billed for that? We paid part of that. I think we still owe the neighborhood of 3700 I don't know that. We paid for it three times. We paid, yeah, we paid for it. It's been a while since I've been getting that. Yeah. Didn't get I think you're going to find this one. 4000 I think you're going to find this one a little bit easier to go over than well, anyway, I think we're going to owe them four thousand dollars. Is that not true? I, Somehow or another, I hope these figures in my head, and then I'm always fit. Right. I, don't know. I think it's that's true. I think we owe them four thousand dollars the Oklahoma Municipal League for recodifying and uh, redoing those. Uh, let's see now. Then what do we do? We have some new and unfinished business. Is there any? You made his unfinished business. At this time, I would entertain a motion to go into the executive session. You want to move me? Let's go. What? Wait. Well, I'm going to finish. Do we need the vote to go into executive session? Nobody. I'll move. I'll move. We'll go into executive session. 